guys, I'm Amy, the creative director of Blogettes, and today I'm going to show you how to place an image inside of a shape in InDesign. This is what you're going to use if you want to place an image into a shape. Um, again, we'll just go ahead and hold shift. We will make a square, and you'll see that you have this X here, and that's what's going to let you know that that's where you can place an image. Um, from here, you'll go up to File, and then you'll go to Place. And you'll choose an image. We'll choose this computer photo here, one of our stock photos. And you'll see that the image is way, way, way bigger than it needs to be for this box. So we're gonna zoom out just a little bit. And you'll see this circle here that pops up and that's what tells you that you're choosing just the image inside rather than the actual frame that the image is in. So we're gonna choose that circle for that image and you'll see this bounding box right here and that shows what the dimension of the image is. So we'll hold shift to make sure that everything stays in proportion and then grab it. Move it over until it's the size that we want and we like the way that it fits within the box. probably do something like so and then zoom back in a little bit and then you're all set and then if you decide again that you want a little bit less of this area showing you'll just make sure that whenever you are adjusting the size of the image within the box you're always clicking on that circle pulling shift dragging and there you are. Now say you want to change the size of the frame itself, then you'll just click like so and then more of your image is going to pop up. Now say you want to size both of them at the same time. You love the proportion that it is. You want to keep it in the square. You're going to hold shift and command at the same time and it will resize both of those. So keep your proportion, it'll keep your, your square, it'll keep everything the same, it'll just resize both of them together. So again, you click and you hold shift, it's just gonna resize that frame. But if you click and you hold shift and command, it will resize both of them together at the same time. Okay, thanks so much for watching and please stay tuned for more videos.